Well, folks, welcome back. Well, between the rabbits and the groundhogs, I lost it quite a, you know, a little bit more. But here's our garden so far. Leah, get out of the onions. Our tomato plants. Start the spur this one back here. Starting to pick up. It's doing good now. After the transplanting. It does got some silica around its roots and some into the soil so that this way it can help it absorb nutrition for the transplanting and to help protect it against any insects or anything that would attack the roots and try to kill it. And then we got the next one over here. Look at that folks. They're starting to take off. Look at the size of those stalks. Okay, that's that one. Let's go back so you can see the stalk on this one. Look at this. Dude. Nice size stalk. Okay, and come over here. Here's the third one. I did a little bit of... Um, lollipopping on it as you can tell there's some pretty bad leaves and branches so i just took them off i'm gonna let them grow up a little bit here in a week or so i'll probably take and cut these off and i'll make starters right here i'll make clones out of these here in probably another week or so Get it, let them get a little bit bigger. And here's the fourth one. And look at it. It's starting to come to life now. It's starting to pick up really nice. And then we got right here in the center. That's our last beefsteak tomato that is alive yet. And look at the difference with these here onions. Okay? Look at the difference. These are in the ground. One, two, three, four, five. One of the onions got ripped, got taken away that was sitting right over there. The corn. I'm going to show you the difference. Remember this part. I'll because I'm going to show you some more onions. Horseradish is banging. It's still going great. Our elderberries. Doing awesome. Oregano. Berry. Berry bush doing great. Look at this, folks. Look at these berries on this one. Doing great. Our elderberries. Oh. Yeah. Doing great. This is our Bell of Georgia peach tree. It's doing good. Now, since we got to go out front here, I'll show you the other stuff. <sighs> okay, folks. Now, look at these onions. Planted the same exact time. Now, these are in my mixture of my own personal potting soil that I grow things in, my own nutrients. And look at how vibrant these are. Look, I mean, look at this. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. You got right there. Got some rhubarb. Look at that. Dude, those are huge. Our other rhubarb plant, it's coming up and doing good. Strawberries are starting to come to life. Oh, yeah. Doing great. Then over here, folks. 
I got to get these in the ground. These are my potatoes. These are the ones that I had um, taken and started in the house during the winter time. And this is them now. And then over here, this is basically just mulch. Is all this here is basically. I just keep coming in and stirring it up. You know, there ain't one single time that when I come out here that I can't, I don't get in here and try to play with this, man. I mean, look at this. You know, any clumps, I just break them up a bit. Doesn't matter. The looser they get, that's better. I try to keep big clumps like that more on the top so that this way they dry out more. Now look, check this out, folks. I'm going to show you something. Okay. Now this is soil from down at the bottom. Okay, see that? Dug that big old hole right there. All right. Now watch. And it's sitting out. And it's barely dripping. Barely. And look at how that's holding together. Look at that texture. And look, it just crumbles. And look at the color it leaves your hands. It stains your hands, folks. Okay, and this ain't done yet. This is nowhere near being done. Yeah, see, and I even put a little thing in here. This is, has banana in it with cardboard because there is worms in this. Right now, they're probably real down deep, and I don't want to disturb them, but we just let everything naturally dry out. It's got holes in the bottom for drainage. You know, that way, that's how the worms are getting into it. But yeah, and I use that for my plants. That's part of it that I use for my plants. I got me a big old trash can here, which is my for my mulch. Oh yeah, this is warm. Wow. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh yeah. That's getting warm down in there real nice. That is fantastic. And now that it's getting a little bit warm, do this. Get some more oxygen, more air in through it. I love playing with it. Just move everything around a little bit. Oh, yeah. Help it. There's branches in there. Everything. Look at that. That's nice. And then, of course, I catch my own rainwater. Right there. Not on purpose, but, hey, it holds a lot of this here thing. Right now, it's holding my um, planters and stuff like that. It's keeping insects from out of them and makes it easier to wash. Then... This here is my very last lettuce because of the rabbits and groundhogs. <laughs> Let's take a look at this here mixture. Oh, look at that. Ooh, and that stinks, son. This is liquid fertilizer. And the reason why I say it's liquid fertilizer, okay? Is because it don't get aerated. Okay, so therefore it's not a tea. If I was putting a pump on it and getting it all pumped and having oxygen constantly flowing through it, all right, then it'd become a tea. But this here is just fertilizer. And it's coming from all this, it's all around me, it's all natural. For many of my plants that died, their leaves and stuff like that, 
it goes in here. It goes in here. I even take some grass, throw grass in there for some nitrogen. You know, even more so. Oh, yeah. But, this is the stuff I do to feed my garden, to do it all natural the best I can. So, hope you guys like it. If you like what you see here on this, hit the like, hit that subscribe, hit the notification. Hey, and tell us, tell a friend about us.